What's up my dear friends of the world, Joseph Ritchie here, and today we're gonna to talk about breathing for tuba. Uh, so you don't wanna miss this. So um, there's many different ways to breathe. If you're a musician, you've probably talked about it all the time. Um, but this way is the best way I've found out for tubas to breathe, and I've shared it with my students, and I learned it from a great teacher, and it's really helped me with my playing. So let's just go ahead and dive right in. Um, go ahead and we're gonna start with an exercise. Take one hand, put it on your chest, the other one put it on your your stomach, down at the lower part of your lungs. And just take a breath for me. And blow the air out. Now the correct way to do this, and this method's called uh, the bellows method, uh, and I learned it from my teacher, uh, John Sizemore, who learned it from his teacher, Arnold Jacobs. And when you're breathing, you should be, your stomach should be expanding. And your chest can kind of rise as well. Um, but when you blow the air out, when you exhale, you want to push in from the gut, down from the bottom, and make sure your chest is going down. So like... And what this does, is like you're filling up like a balloon. You're filling up and then you're exhaling. Um, a nice example, we have a little water bottle here. So imagine, top here. Sorry for my squeaky chair. So anyways, um, imagine the water's your air. So when it fills up, it starts and it goes through the top, it passes through the top and then goes down to the bottom. And then when you exhale, you push down from the bottom, just a light push, not too much. And it squirts the air or water out. You don't want to ever squeeze from the top because if you squeeze from the top, you see all this air is getting trapped. So you don't want to make, you want to make sure your, your chest muscles aren't more engaged than they need to be. You need to allow them to relax. So let's do a couple of breaths just like that. And this really makes sure you're, you're emptying your body of your air and moving your air in the most efficient and relaxed way possible. So again, hand here and hand here. We're going to inhale for four and exhale for four. So do that a couple times on your own. You can pause the video and just really focus on inflating and deflating. And you'll use your back just to kind of keep you supported. You don't want to go all over the place all the time because it makes it hard to hold a tuba. Um, and then if you're struggling with maybe getting a great sound or getting a consistent sound, this next exercise I'm going to show you is one of the fastest ways to make sure you maximize your breathing. Um, and once I learned this exercise, it completely changed the game for me. So I call it the key method, the key to breathing. Um, and what it is, is you say the words key, key, and then you say the words, oh, oh, do you feel the difference when you say key, you know, how everything's closed in the key, everything's tight, and then oh is nice and relaxed, right? So young musicians, um, or newer musicians tend to have that key breath where you're like key when you breathe. And that's a little exaggerated, but I'm just doing that for the point. But we want to go from key to O. So the exercise is you say key, you say O, and then you breathe in and you exhale. So I'll turn on the metronome, metronome 72, and key O. Do it with me. Half notes for everything. Half note key, half note O, half note breath, and then a whole note exhale. And ready, go. Key, O. Oh. Great. Then you just pick up the horn. You can do the same thing for some long tones. And ready, go. Key, O. Oh. As you're playing you want to make sure that you are keeping everything relaxed and as you take that oh breath everything's nice and open and then you keep it as you play that's the key so you're saying oh you're breathing oh and then you're playing oh so hopefully this helps this is one of the fastest ways i have found to get a great sound on tuba is really getting control of your breathing um go ahead and try it out for me and if this method is helpful go ahead and drop a comment and let me know and Thank you again for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day. 
Uh, if you could do me a favor though, and if you got value from this, if you can press that like and uh, like button and the subscribe button. And I also have a new method book for tuba that's coming out soon, uh, April 1st. It's called Tuba Technique Builders. Um, where I'll have everything mapped out about how to do an awesome daily routine and some of the most uh, comprehensive and compact exercises for tuba. It's going to be for all different keys of tuba too. It's also going to have a euphonium key in there as well, just so you can use it with your studios. Um, and it's going to be a digital interactive method book. So it's going to have clickable links to videos where I take you and show you a little bit further uh, explanation and give you a little bit more help with it as well. Um, it's an exclusive pre-order special happening right now where you can get the book at like half the price. Uh, also a huge offer going with it too. I got some incredible bonuses you don't want to miss. So go ahead and check that out. It's in the comments. Um, and again, now you know how to breathe. I hope you apply these daily and you use these powers for good, not evil. Cool. See you later.